oh, Halloween's coming up and everybody's getting ready for you. You ready for Halloween? Yeah. How many people, how many people have already gotten your pumpkins? All right. All right. Some people not ready and people always want to make sure that they have the very best jack-o'-lantern. It gets very competitive in the neighborhoods. All the jack-o'-lanterns, people go all out. Yesterday, my neighbor was injecting uh, her pumpkin with Botox. And uh, <laughs> that's cheating. All right, so everybody wants to have the best jack-o'-lantern, right? And I have some wonderful tips to make sure that you have the best jack-o'-lantern ever. And I call them Ellen's Wonderful Tips to make sure you have the best jack-o'-lantern ever. <laughs> I came up with that title. Tip number one, you need a pumpkin. Now, a lot of people uh, get them at the grocery store or a pumpkin patch, and that is expensive and hard. So do what I do, kids. Steal a pumpkin. <laughs> Actually, you're not, you're borrowing it because you can return it the day after Halloween, so it's technically, it's not stealing. Tip number two, decorating your pumpkin. That's the thing. You need to carve your pumpkin, and that's uh, for a standard jack-o'-lantern, you'll want to carve two triangles for eyes, okay, and then upside-down triangle for the nose, and a mouth, you want summer teeth. Do you know what summer teeth are? Yeah, that's when you're, you're summer your teeth and uh, summer not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Number three, tip number three, is uh, if you're not happy with the way your jack-o'-lantern turns out, don't worry, you just drive around until you find the best-looking jack-o'-lantern <laughs> in your neighborhood and borrow that one, too. <laughs> Again, you return it the day after Halloween. It's t technically, it's not stealing. And those are my tips on how to have the best jack-o'-lantern ever. You want to tune in next month when I give tips on how to have the best Christmas tree ever. 